Yo, bro, you think this video is gonna be fire, bro? <laughs> yeah, bro, I think this video is gonna be so dope. Facts, bro. Totally rad, dude. <laughs> it's your boy, Ra. It's your boy, Zente. And we all the real style, bro. Over the game, I'ma shift it. Get your shot, better take it, don't miss it. This my life, I'ma live how I live it. This my life, I'ma live how I live it. Time is money, and I can't waste a minute. Keep the balance, yeah, stay on my pivot. Grim Reaper style, I came here to kill it. Niggas chatting, don't get no digits. Best in the town, you gotta admit it. MZ and PD, I can't see no limits. How come I see, come fuck with the realest. I flip it, I spend it, I get it right back. I flip it, I spend it, I get it right back. It's my time, I'm First things first, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. If you got a notification bell, you're not subscribing. And that's Roll. a fact. Two, one K. We almost there. Stop playing, man. Just get us to one K, and then get us to ten K, and, and, and then a hundred, and then and a then million. million, and yeah. then feel me. Number one, COVID. Overrated. I reason why COVID is overrated because it closed indoor dining, right? You got dine outside. But you dining outside does what? And then they open indoor dining, right? But you gotta go inside with your mask, right? And then once you get at the table, you can take it off. And they're giving a shot for free. That not make sense. So I'm gonna overrate it. Teeth, number two. Teeth. <laughs> That's funny as fuck. Like, what the fuck? Do, like, do I say overrated? Teeth is overrated. No, because I like teeth. I feel like, I feel like your smile makes you, if you don't have a good smile, and you're a quote unquote pretty person. Are you really pretty? I mean, you got a pretty soul, but come on now. People judge people for like visual. So do you feel like if you don't have a pretty smile, you're not pretty? Like, does that ruin the person? For momentarily, until I know you, it does. So I'm gonna say, uh, I'm gonna say teeth underrated. I'm gonna just say teeth underrated. Number three, war. War? Like, shoot them up, bang, bang? Mm hmm. Overrated. Cause it doesn't solve anything. Because we win, right? Then y'all tight about the war. Y'all tight about the war that we won, right? Then y'all win for payback, right? Now we tied about the war. See the cycle? Back and forth. It doesn't solve anything. I just feel like it's just unnecessary shit. And if I don't know if a lot of people is like spiritual, so I feel like you killing each other for what? So if you're not spiritual, you only get one life. Do you live after the life that you just previously took or lived? So do you feel like that would go hand in hand with gang related activity? Yeah, I feel like gang related shit is stupid. Cause a lot of them niggas die over a bitch. That don't give a fuck that's out here fucking another nigga right after that in a different gang. So it's already it. Number four, winning a championship. Uh, anything? Anything. I'ma say underrated, but it could be overrated. Because that same organization that you put all of that sweat, blood, energy to win the chip for, they'll trade you right after that. Cause they wanna go young. But the people that's going through it during that moment is underrated. I feel like once you get to the pinnacle of what that season is, which is which is winning the championship, it's underrated. But after that season, if they wanna go younger, Whatever, it, whatever they do after you, like Shaq, for instance. Shaq, I should never trade a Shaq. So I'm gonna just say shit like that is overrated. Number five, traveling. I say underrated. I feel like life is bigger than where you are from. It's bigger than your block. It's bigger than your city. It's bigger than your state. It's bigger than your country that you're from. I feel like you gotta get out and just see everything. Once you could do that, once you say you could bend to all continents in the world, I feel like you live life. Not Antarctica, obviously, but like Africa, Asia, Europe. 
North America, South America, like all of that. Like I feel like you pretty much live. Like you could you can you can be like, alright, cool. Feel me? How you know Antarctica is not lit though? Bro, who the fuck is on Antarctica? Bro? <laughs> who the fuck is on Antarctica? I'm pretty sure there's people that live. Yeah, what? Snowmen? <laughs> Ain't nobody fucking there, bro. Number six, today's rap music. Ooh. Uh, see, I'm in the middle with that. You could go over it or you could go under it. Because you got still niggas like Drake. You still got niggas like... I don't know if Kanye still considers as still making music. But you got Travis Scott. You got Lil Baby. You got Lil Uzi. We still got a couple of niggas that still know how to do what they do. And then you got trash niggas like who's the nigga that's trashing me like little tj like he still makes music <laughs> that nigga is trash what's another nigga that's trash i'm calling you niggas help i don't give a fuck if i was the type of nigga to be a celebrity in the rap game i would tell you niggas straight up to your face i fuck with you as a real person but as an artist you suck <laughs> so i'm at the go over it Number seven, having a daughter. Oof. I'm gonna say underrated on this one. I feel like having a daughter teaches you how to be a man. Because I feel like having a boy, like I get it, like you just let a boy just be a boy. But like when you have a daughter, I feel like you you like step by step by step by step. Like you wanna make sure that she get the right boy. You wanna make sure that she's not out here looking for niggas to technically be their father because she didn't have that love at home. Like, not being a stripper, not being a porn star, like, so much. Like, I feel like you just so, like, delicate with your daughter. Like, like anything that your daughter tells you that you never heard of before is kind of, like, distraught to you. So I feel like it's, it's very underrated having a daughter. I feel like you're not really a father until you have a daughter. So not, not saying that you can't have a son and still be a father. Because we, we cherish them too, but I don't know, having a daughter is just a lot. So you don't feel like everything you just said relates to having a son? Yeah, facts. But I feel like you got to watch your daughter more. You got to give a daughter more attention, more love, more affection, more emotion. I feel like you're more emotional with a daughter than you are with a son. I'm not saying that it shouldn't be both ways. But I'm saying, like, you give more attention to your daughter than you do, do your son. Like, if your son get a cut, whatever you tell him, like, yo, like, patch him up, be Gucci, your daughter. Oh, daddy, little girl, I'm sorry. You know? So I'm saying underrated. Number eight, arguments. Overrated. You don't solve anything. Y'all both just, rah, 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 rah. fuck out of here, I'm better than you. Fuck out of here, you got a little dick. I got it. Uh, like it's just, it's just who can yell, yell at it, yell better, or if the person that's more calmer, they normally win an argument because the other person is wasting mad energy. So it's really like pointless. Like if I could just sit down and talk about the situation, then for me, I both kind of win because you hear somebody, somebody hears you. Now it might not be solved, but you had a civilized conversation. An argument doesn't fit. It turns into a fight. Most times, times out of ten, and then after the argument is like a can of worms. You can't put that shit back. Nine out of ten. Number nine, trust. I'm gonna say underrated. I feel like to find a trustworthy person is very underrated. I feel like as people, you look for that in a person. Not that you need that, because you could just have a person that you just go with. Like you don't put that much into them. But when you find a person that you can trust, I feel like it's just underrated because you know that you could leave a hundred thousand dollars right next to that person and not one dollar is moved. You know what I'm saying? And just because that person honored you or thought about you, you would give that person money. But if they touched it, you know, now the situation is broken. Now you got one more enemy that you had before. So I'm saying underrated. You don't think maybe trust would be overrated just because you wouldn't trust anybody? But that's like a middle situation because you could think about it like that or you could think about you finding the person that you do trust. You but what I'm saying is you don't just trust anybody on the street. 
That's a fact. So it would kind of be overrated, wouldn't it? That's overrated. But then when you find somebody on the street that you can trust, because technically you found me on the street. How? You didn't know me from a hole in the wall. But niggas introduced you, so I was not the same. You still ain't know me. That's not the same though. That person still ain't know me like that either. So I'm gonna say underrated. Number 10, the last one, knowledge. I'm gonna definitely say underrated on this one. I feel like you could never have too much knowledge in the world. I feel like anything that somebody taught you, you could find something that is more previously. Like today I found out that octopus have beaks, right? And so do birds. But the way that an octopus got a beak is not the same way that a, a bird got a beak. You see what I'm saying? Like little shit like that is kind of like, what the fuck? Like they both had beaks. You would think that they would be related. I thought you was going to say overrated because people will use knowledge that they have to feel like they're better than you. No, I wasn't even thinking about that. I'm just thinking about shit that I don't know right now. There's so much shit that I don't know right now. So much shit that you don't know right now that when you find out about it and you be like, damn, like, why the fuck I ain't know that about? Like, I didn't know. Yeah, I probably didn't even fucking know this. That this headphone, this this speaker right here, it's not really a speaker. It's a microphone. And I thought this right here was blown out. And this is the speaker. And this is a speaker. But you niggas ain't know that. See? I'm giving y'all some game. It's knowledge. So I'm gonna say underrated. The scene. I am not regular, fly like a plane. Look how I dress it up, dripping like rain. Keep how I wet them up, went through the pain. And I ain't letting up. If you were lame, you better step it up. You cannot hang. Don't hit my cellular saying my name. Don't get ahead of your whole oh, no. Don't get ahead of yourself.